So I have an electric car. It's a Chevy Volt, so it's not like a Tesla. It's got a gas backup generator. So it's not gas driven, it's, a, it's electric motors, runs on electricity, and you can switch it to the gas motor to generate electricity to propel the car. I'm, I'm sure you follow me. So it's not like a Prius where it's a gas driven vehicle with electric assist and bit of electric backup. Anyways, I get the plug in in my stall at the condo. It's a 120 volt plug because rabbit. Uh, because for some reason the building developers didn't put in 240 uh, outlets in the underground, which is really strange because you know there's so many electric vehicles out there anyway so I got a spot my car when I'm doing a 120 you can tell it to do 12 amp draw or an 8 amp draw but the infrastructure down there can't even handle a 12 amp draw when I first started charging there when we first moved in Caleb and I the uh, yeah let's get a dog so we can pick up its shit uh, I tried throwing it on 12 amp because that speeds up the charging but it blew the fuse so I I know that it can only handle 8 and 8 is the default for 120 so I just plug it in and leave it there done so I've been doing this, what, uh, over a year and a half, almost two years. So the guy across from me and his stall, he got himself an electric Toyota RAV4, but it's like a hybrid. And uh, so he, he, he got it, and then he started plugging it in at the same time as me. And oh, lo and behold, what, what do you think happened, everybody? <laughs> popping fuses left right and center so I didn't really think it was him causing the blown fuse right right away I had a bit of an inkling so I had the fuses reset by the uh, building manager and then uh, boom it happened again. I'm like, all right, it's definitely this guy because I notice he's plugged in, and it and it's stayed plugged in. So, what the hell's on your head? So, um, I leave a note on the post where he's plugging into in the parkade. I said, hey. When you plug your vehicle in, it's blowing the fuse because it can't handle both of our vehicles being plugged in. I'm just going to sit here and tell you the story. So he goes, uh, I disagree. Please call me. So I'm like, fuck that. I don't call people. So I text him. And I said, hey, it's, is it okay if I text you? Look, I've been plugging in for over a year, almost two years. I can tell you right now that when you plug your vehicle in, it blows the fuse. It might not do it right away, but it does it. Well, oh, well, I kind of disagree. And I'm like, no, it, it's actually happening. And uh, I have to get the fuse reset every time you did it. And I need electric because my vehicle is an electric vehicle. So I said, but listen, I'll be courteous. Let's work out a bit of a schedule. Because I 
work at 3 a.m. and then I'm home by noon and I'll plug in right at noon and by the time you get home at whatever, six, seven, charger's all yours. So I did that for him, what, two times and then all of a sudden the fucking knucklehead goes and plugs in at the same time as me, blows the fuse. So I reset it and then I, I text him again and I said, hey, we can't have our cars plugged in at the same time. It blows the fuse. It can't handle it. I don't think that's the problem, he says back to me. Like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Okay. You can't. So I happen to be friends with the building manager. So I tell him what's going on. He says, okay. So he wrote through Strata, official channels, he wrote the guy and said, you can't use that plug-in. You have to uh, trade spots with another vehicle that has a plug-in spot and charge on a different circuit because it can't handle it. It keeps blowing the fuse. And the other tenant was there first, and he's been charging his car there for almost two years. You just can't do it. No more, please. So a couple days go by, and what happens? Blamo fuses out again. Like, I think this was two or three days after the first email from Strata. And so I tell my buddy, and he says, what time do you think this happened? And I said, well, between 6 p.m. and 2 a.m. the following day when I got up to get to work. I noticed that it was, the fuse was out. So they check the video camera and sure enough, they see the guy try and plug in at 11 o'clock p.m., blows the fuse, he unplugs his vehicle like nothing's happened. So, and here's the thing too, like I'm right across from him and I told him, if you see a solid green light, you can probably plug in, um, you know, but wait until I'm, I unplug my car. This is in the initial stages of all this shit. So my uh, buddy, through official Strata channels, emailed the guy and says, uh, as per our previous communications, we've explained to you that you cannot charge your car there. We have you on video at 11.10 p.m. plugging in your vehicle, blowing the fuse, and unplugging it. If this happens, we're going to have to issue fines if this happens again. So, I just, the guys, some people are just stupid, okay? Let's just, let's just fucking go with that. Some people are just fucking stupid. Like I tried to work with the guy, I tried to explain to him it can't handle the, the charge on of two vehicles. Wait for me, but he just, you know, he disagreed and now he got himself banned from charging in his own stall because he's stupid. Like, fuck, I just don't understand. I don't need to understand because I get to fucking charge. Anyway, that's my story. So, so far, it's been about three days. Uh, he hasn't tried to plug in and blow the fuse. And if he does, they're going to start giving him a fine. Because uh, the building manager doesn't live here. So when the fuses are out in the underground, no one can vacuum. No one can use those plug-ins. I can't charge. So the, the building manager has to come all the way here from wherever he is. And, uh, oh, fuck, I lost my keys.